Hey, what's up everybody? Ice Time here, and we have a new tutorial video today. This will be the first video in our Blender Beginner series, and in this video we are covering moving, rotating, and scaling an object in Blender. So let's get into it here. If you've ever opened Blender up, you know it is not user-friendly from the start, uh, but there is hope, and that hope is called hotkeys. The more you can remember, the faster you can work, and the easier your life becomes. So. To move an object in Blender, you have two basic ways. You have the movement tool on the toolbar here on the left, which brings up a widget, and then you can click and drag it on whatever axis you want to move it on. Or you can use the hotkey, which is G. G for move. If you just press G and move your mouse, it will go wherever you move your mouse on your screen. This is completely dependent upon your camera's perspective at the time and can result in some wonky results that don't line up. So to avoid that, I recommend pressing G and then selecting the letter that corresponds with the axis you want to move it on. So for instance, Y. Now you can see it's locked on the Y axis. This also applies to X and Z, as you can see. And if you want to move it a set amount of units, instead of free moving it, you can press y, or G, then Y, and then however many units you want to move it, for example, five. And if you want to move it the opposite direction, just press G, Y, and then negative 5. Obviously this goes for the X and Z axis as well. The next movement we would do is rotate. You can use the tool on the left and use the widget again. And click and drag on the axis you want to rotate on. Or you can use the hotkey, which is R. And then you can either free rotate it, again, that depends on your camera's perspective and is not very accurate. Or you can press R and then the axis you want to rotate on. Here I'm rotating on the Z axis as indicated by the blue line going north to south. And also, once again, if I want to, I can be even more particular. Uh, for instance, if I want to rotate it along the Y axis, I can lock into the Y and then press 90 degrees by typing 90, and now I've rotated the whole object 90 degrees. Finally, the last basic movement here is scaling. Once again, there is a tool. You can click on the left to scale and then pull on the widget on whatever axis you want. Or you can press the hotkey, which is S. Now this hotkey you may very well use uh, without picking an axis. It obviously has much more use. This is not dependent on your camera's point of view. Or you can just scale it on one axis if you'd like. We use Y as the example again. We press S, then Y, and then we move our mouse in or out, and we can make it thinner or wider. S, then X, does the same thing on the X. And as a little bonus note, if you want, you could scale it on multiple axes at the same time. Say you wanted to scale it on the X and the Y, but not Z. You could hit S to scale, and then hold Shift and press Z. Now you're scaling the object on the Y and X axis, but it is not scaling its height, so it will not scale on the Z axis. Alright guys. Well, that is everything for this video. Again, we went over moving, rotating, and scaling basics in Blender here. You can also do all of these movements in edit mode on an object to make much more complicated uh, models and meshes, but we'll go over that in another video. I hope this was very helpful, and if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of your support as always. Until next time, this is Ice Time signing off.